But Wanda, you hear about this new character, this Captain Marvel, supposed to be super powerful, coming to take over the Avengers? Yes, I've heard of this Captain Marvel. But does not anyone remember House of M? What is up, super fans? I'm Matt Stockholm, and this is another edition of The Quantum Corner. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment down below, and also hit that notification bell so you'll always know when I upload a new video. Okay, for today's video, I want to do some MCU updates, talk about some stuff that Kevin Feige said, as well as a little bit about Doctor Strange 2 and mutants in the MCU. Okay, let's jump right in. So the Oscars were on the other night, and congratulations to Black Panther for winning three Oscars, and Into the Spider-Verse for winning Best Animated Film. This is really huge for the future of superhero movies and comic-based movies. The fact that they're getting recognition from the Oscars shows a lot for how far we've come. So I'm really excited for this, as well as I'm excited for the future of DC and Marvel. The next thing I want to talk about is Kevin Feige's statements. Uh, Kevin Feige made a few statements uh, regarding, one, the Avengers Endgame trailer, which some of us were hoping, well, probably a lot of us were hoping that it would be on the Oscars, which it wasn't. I pretty much had a feeling they probably won't show that final trailer until we get to the Captain Marvel movie. And Kevin Feige stated that there is still one more trailer to come, um, and it will show up here sometime, but he didn't give us an exact date for when. Again, I'm thinking it's going to be attached with the Captain Marvel movie. Okay, so a couple other things from Kevin Feige. One, he talked about the OG Avengers and basically made the comment that some of them will be showing up in future movies. So I think that's really exciting for us who are scared to possibly lose. With all the rumors going around about Cap dying or Iron Man dying and who knows who else, this is exciting to know that some of these characters will continue on at least in some basis in the future of the MCU. Uh, the other thing he talked about was the Eternals movie. Woo! I'm really excited for this. I can't wait for this. And now I really, before it seemed like you couldn't, you, nobody was really sure if it was going to happen. But going by what Kevin Feige said at the Oscars, it sounds like it's definitely coming. So Kevin Feige said that he definitely wants to get into some more groups and group-based movies. Um, he talked about the Eternals movie specifically and relating it to the Guardians of the Galaxy franchise where it starts out as more of an ensemble rather than building to that movie like they did with the first Avengers. So Jack Kirby did an epic Eternal story that spanned over tens of thousands of years. And what Kevin Feige said was that this was something that he found appealing um, moving forward after Avengers Endgame that building a story like this over this long reach of time span could be something that's really cool in the future of the MCU. Okay, the last little bit of information is about Doctor Strange 2. If you're like me and really love the first one, I'm sure you're excited for the second one. First off, uh, the villain that is rumored to appear is Nightmare. Uh, the other bit of news, there's been a lot of stuff going about delays and being put off. And apparently the reason for this is that there is plans to debut the first mutant in Doctor Strange 2. Woo! Apparently the character Magic with a K, who if you don't know is Colossus' little sister from the X-Men, um, she is rumored to be one of the characters that come out in this movie. And part of the reason that it's been delayed and being pushed back is to wait until the Fox deal is done hence having all legal rights and abilities to putting mutants into the MCU. So this was really exciting for me. The more and more I hear about mutants, the more and more I get excited. I want mutants in the MCU, and it just can't happen fast enough for me. Well, that's all pretty much I have for today, guys. Uh, let me know what you thought about the video. What do you think about the news, the updates, the Eternals movie? As always, I really appreciate your feedback. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Like this video, comment down below, and hit that notification bell so you always get notified when I upload a new video. And also, that will enter you in for the giveaway. Our next giveaway prize is at 200, so keep watching, keep paying attention, and keep being cool. <laughs> all right. For the Quantum Corner, I'm Matt Stockholm saying, stay super, everybody. Mm -hmm.